Hello everyone, my name is Laura Ellis and I'll be taking you step by step through Precedent. Um, Precedent is an online timeline maker. It can be used for a variety of um, activities, but today we're going to talk about it in a history class. So the first thing to do is to go to Precedent.com and if you don't have a, an account, go ahead and set one up under Try Precedent Today for free, the white box. You'll need to put in your email, create a password, and then it'll ask you to put in the title of your timeline and what you are using it for in the drop down arrow. Next, it will take you to the teacher dashboard. Um, this is where you will create your new timeline, which is at the bottom left hand side of the page. Um, and then this is your actual timeline. Um, after that, if you'll click up at the add event blue box at the top, it'll bring you to this page where you'll start adding in your events. Um, you give, the, it, give it a name, you put in the dates, um, you can change the icon color, shape, um, and you can give it a short description of that, that specific event. Um, you can also add images. Um, if you go to image and click choose, um, you can actually uh, copy and paste. You can upload the URL. You can upload it from Google Drive or from other social media. And when you do, it'll bring it up just like it does now. And after you are satisfied and you're finished with that, you click the blue Add Event box, and then it will add that event to your actual timeline. And it will show up just like this. Um, I've actually added two at this point, but you keep following these steps until you have got all of your events in the way you want them. Um, you can go back and edit your events. Um, you just double click the name of it. It'll take you back to that add event or the update event. You can change it however you want. And then just be sure and click the update event blue box again. Like I said, you keep adding your events and keep editing them the, until you've got it the way you want it and filled out the way you want. Next, we're going to go through some settings. Um, that's the next um, choice on the uh, beside add event. You're going to click theme. That You can change the color. You can change the layer. You can change the event color and also the font size and just you know make it the way you want. Next, you've got visibility. That tells you who can and can't um, see your timeline. That's up to you. Um, the event layout, event details, date format, axis, zoom, those other choices after that, those, pre those have to do with your timeline itself and the way it looks. Um, you know, you can change the way um, your timeline or the way, um, you know, the events are set up, the way they look. You can change the way the date looks. Um, you know, you can have it spelled out for you or with numbers. You know, you can show how each layer shows and if you want grid lines on it or not. And then with Zoom, you can actually zoom in on specific dates. Um, the next feature is actually collaboration. Collaboration is a tool that's only available for users that have the upgraded version, which you pay for. Um, with the, you know, the free version, you're not going to be able to do this. So when you're finished with that, click um, Update Settings, and then you're good to go. Next, we're going to talk about layers. A layer is basically, you know, if you have one big event, this is like another big event within that you know, whole, you know, if we're talking about a war, you know, we talk about a war within a war. And, you know, for this example, I use the Holocaust because it was basically a, um, a war on civilians within World War II. You fill in the same type of information as you do with the events, and you just click Update Layer. It shows up at the bottom of your page, um, at, at the bottom of your timeline, and you can actually add events to, uh, under a specific layer. Um, again, it looks like just you go to add event just like you normally would. You just make sure you've got that drop down arrow on um, that includes your layer. Next, we're going to talk about the next button beside add layer. It's in legend. That's if you were really organized and you decided to be color coded, you just explain what each color means. Next, we're going to talk about the, um, the tools and the buttons kind of in the middle of your timeline. The first two are to link and embed. Um, with the link and embed tools, you can copy and paste those links and you can put them in a website. You can put them in an email and share them with your friends or share them with your students. Um, it's a good way for students to be able to collaborate and for you as the teacher to send them like a, um, a good study tool. 
Um, with pre the next one is to present your timeline. This is a really good tool, especially you know if you are starting a lesson and you're trying to um, you know show your students an example of what a timeline should look like or what you expect. You just go to enter presentation mode, and that brings up it's the same timeline. It just kind of takes away the toolbars and the setting bars and all those little buttons and makes it bigger and easier to look at if you're trying to present it. And the next tool we have, um, it's actually CSV in Excel. It allows you to, um, you know, bring up an Excel spreadsheet. You have download uh, an image or a printable PDF. Those two are really good if you're wanting to print it out and, you know, you grade it. Um, but all in all, those are pretty much the tools, the main tools that we talk about with Precedent. Um, Precedent was very easy to use. I used this for the first time. Not, I mean, just a, about a week ago, and it was really easy to use, very simple and very self-explanatory. So I hope you've enjoyed this step-by-step -step kind of how-to. I hope it's been helpful for you and informative. Um, thank you for listening. 